guys, Christina here, and today I have a look for you and a review of the science unit we recently completed from The Good and the Beautiful called Water and Our World. It's a unit study that's geared towards K-6, to but it does have an extension in it that's for grades 7 through 12. So our children are currently 3, 6, 9, 10, and 11, and we just completed it, like I said. So I'll turn the camera around and give you a look at all the different parts of it, then I'll come back here and share our thoughts about it. Here is what the main book that you're gonna use looks like. This is one I picked up from the company. They do come loose leaf, so you're going to have to bind them, put them in a three-hole binder, something that you need to do to keep it together. Anywhere where I've had to cut things out, I like to print a copy black and white to go in, so you can see this is one of the mini books, just so that I know where everything goes in here. I just find that's easier, but here's a quick flip through of it. So you can see like the words in the front. I just print them here because I have the originals here in color. So in the front, it has the table of contents. It has each unit. It has information about it. These are the supplies needed broken down by unit. And these are optional books that you can add in. You can see I've made a few little notes, books our library had. I think I didn't fill these ones in, but they had a few of them. Um, some of them I found were a little bit more difficult to find. And then it jumps right into the vocabulary and then right into the first lesson here. Each lesson is set up the same way, objective, preparation, supplies needed. And then each little part that you need to do with these symbols, it explains at the front and you can check the boxes off, or I'm gonna be using this multiple times, so I did not check them off. At the end here, this is where you would find the lesson extensions for older children. So you can make it work for older children if you have doing it like family style. So that is the main book. Now I get asked a lot about how I store this. So I have this plastic, kind of the bottom is expandable, expandable, I think it is. Um, and I just keep everything in here. While we're doing the course, I keep the book out, but everything else goes in here. And then once it's done, it all fits nice and tidy in here, which I'll show you at the end. And I can just put it away. When I prep the unit, I divide everything up with a little paper clip saying unit one, unit two, unit three. So I know exactly because we just finished it. Nothing is sorted right now. This is the little mini book. I just printed this part here. For that and I put all the books onto one um, coil and I double sided them so as you flipped it you could just continue like this I found this is the best way in the past I've done each little um, book separately and I just prefer to have them all together in one now the cutouts I felt like this unit was really heavy on cutouts there's so many vocabulary and different um, Diagram of wave tied to so many different um, pieces to it. These are all cut, um, oh no, I laminated these ones first and then cut them. I've done them both ways. This just makes it a little bit quicker. And because there was so much in this unit, I did it that way. Again, more cards for different activities that you're gonna use. These ones too. Then I also had these over here. So this was one little activity. This is another one, still put together. So lots and lots of pieces in this one. And then here, these were just a couple of, um, that I needed to keep out for photocopying and such and for using. But that is a look at all the components and pieces of this unit. Here it is all in the folder, ready for me to put it away. I'm not gonna bother sorting this out again until I use it next time, because I know all the pieces are there. But it fits really nicely. And then this just goes up on the shelf with our other units. And everything is there and ready to go for the next time. So we've done a number of science units from The Good and the Beautiful and we've really enjoyed using them. And this unit was no different. I like how varied it is, how it's a good overview of information, but there is a lot of specifics in there as well. My three-year-old was able to take part in some of it with us. And then I had my son who was in grade seven do some of the extensions and that worked really well. So anything that saves like time and can include everyone, it's a big thumbs up for me. In terms of affordability, it's very affordable. 
you can either purchase from the company or you can get the PDF and print it yourself. With that though, there is a cost to the experiments. And I found this one really heavy on the experiments to the point where we didn't do the last, second to last one I think it was, because I was just like, I am experimented out and it is costly, it costs money. So that's something to weigh with it. Um, also, our weather here, we've had snow since I think three weeks into school. So it makes it a little difficult. We did plan, we picked up things like sand and some of the dirt we needed, but other times I hadn't prepped it and it was frozen outside. <laughs> so we had to kind of chip away to get some dirt and that took some adjusting. So just, just know that if you live in a cold climate, you need to plan for that. The book is um, a non-denominational Christian curriculum, which works great for our family, but you probably would want to know that as well if you're looking at it. And I'll give you a look at some of the um, experiments that we did as I talk a little bit here, because it was a lot of fun and it was a lot of hands-on learning, which for me got to be a little too much, but the kids really enjoyed it. I think, um, again, it just gave that really good broad overview. We're very lucky to live in a place as well that has some of the things they're talking about, things like glaciers and some of the um, erosion effects from glaciers, which was really cool. We had also been to the ocean this summer and so had a little bit of idea about the water cycle and this just really helped. So again, this is what it looks like. And I think it, it worked for us. It was a good unit. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below or um, if I've missed something, you wanna know something, go ahead and leave that there too. Otherwise, I hope this finds you having a great day. Take care.